Basil II leads Byzantium in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. A distinguished general and administrator, Basile reduced the power of the aristocracy, filled the empire's treasury, and expanded its borders. Byzantium's unique ability is called Taxis. It gives units additional combat or religious strength for each holy city converted to Byzantium's religion. The ability helps power this conversion by spreading Byzantium's religion whenever an enemy civilization or city-state unit is defeated. Taxis also lets cities with holy sites earn bonus great profit points. Byzantium has two unique units. The Dromon replaces the Quadrian, offers additional range, and receives additional combat strength against other units. The Tagma replaces the Knight and grants nearby land units additional combat or religious strength. Byzantium's unique Hippodrome district replaces the entertainment complex, is cheaper to build, and provides additional amenities. When the Hippodrome and its buildings are constructed, they also grant a free heavy cavalry unit that does not cost maintenance. Basel's ability is called Porfiro Yenetos. It allows heavy and light cavalry units to do full damage against cities following the same religion as Byzantium. Byzantium's focus is on an offensive, military, and religion-centered game, with abilities designed to create synergies between the two. If you want to pursue a religious victory, don't neglect your military, as your religion spreads to nearby cities when you defeat an enemy unit. Similarly, if you're aiming for a domination victory, prioritize converting holy cities in other civs to your religion, as Byzantium's Taxis ability will make those cities easier for you to conquer. You can't go back to Constantinople, so how will you lead Byzantium in Sid Meier's Civilization VI?